So I guess as people are coming in, if you want to um, go around and tell everyone who you are and where you're calling from, uh, and yeah, turn on some video if you if you can. That's great. Hey there. So, um, mom, since you were on first, you want to start? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, Sharon, hi. <laughs> and I'm in Edmonds, Washington. Wonderful. And then uh, there's JB Jordan. Yeah, that, that's Joe. Oh, Call hey, Joe. Santa Cruz. <laughs> and, uh, Mary Flodine should be joining us shortly. Wonderful. I'm going to turn off the video just because I got a bright window behind me and mm. don't, don't have a lamp set up for any kind of decent illumination. So. Me too. Anyway, happy uh, after <laughs> Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Oh, great. Um, let's see. Who came on next? I think I think Lionel next. Perhaps. Um, hey, I'm Lionel, and uh, I I live in New York City, but I'm currently visiting. Um, oh, I'm visiting my girlfriend's family in Orlando, Florida, and so I'm outside in the bright sunshine right now, which is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you must feel sort of unfamiliar after being in New York this week. Oh my goodness. It is such a, a relief. It feels great. <laughs> um, and then Marilee. Hi. A bit slow still. Um, yeah, it's just 5 a.m. here in oh Western Australia. Um, but it's, um, I'm often awake this time anyway, meditating, uh, it's summer. So the, um, it's, uh, the sun will be up soon. It's all light outside and the birds are all carrying on. And, uh, yeah, I shared this with, um, uh, with the tree sisters group, um, that I have the global meditation and, and Amazon intention, but I haven't, um, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that a couple of people, so they couldn't make it, but they were joining in um, uh, yeah, energetically, sort of all that they <coughs> meditating before and after. So, oh, wonderful! Yes, yeah, so hopefully all the ripples will keep going. Yeah, and um, I think Jennifer. Uh, so there, does yeah. that come in? Yeah. Okay. I am here with Nancy. here with Nancy, who you'll meet in just a moment. Oh, yeah. And we're, we're ready to be together and enjoy this. Great. I'm so glad you guys could make it. So, uh, Nancy? I'm trying to figure out how to get back. I, I'm in the chat. Oh, I guess close there. There we go. And then get to the... I'm hung up on the technology ah uh, yeah okay anyhow i'm very very glad to be here with you and especially glad to be seeing you your face lionel yeah same nancy okay well um i think given our timing i'm gonna go ahead and get us started um and for now, I'm going to mute everyone. Uh, and hopefully, as people come in, um, they will get unmuted when uh, after, or they will stay muted until after uh, after the meditation, and then we'll we'll unmute and have some time to talk again. Um, so. You probably, I think all of you know me at least a little bit. Um, my name is Michelle Merrill. Um, and I'm guessing that all of you are aware of the current threats to the integrity of the Amazon. Uh, there's increasing pressure to carve roads through it, to cut trees for timber, to clear pastures for cattle. 
uh, and growing crops for export, which is mostly soy to be used as animal feed. Some of the native people, these indigenous rainforest inhabitants are being driven from their homelands. The political climate in Brazil and other countries of the Amazon basin has recently experienced a shift away from a focus on conservation and towards destruction, honestly. So while this fully deserves our attention and our informed action, it also needs our love and our intention to heal. And that is going to be our focus today. So you'll want to arrange yourself for a meditation session. Um, try to find a place where you won't be disturbed if you're not there already. Uh, turn off any unneeded devices, alarms, other things that might distract you. And while we're settling in, I'll just tell you a little bit more about the Nova Sutras movement, and then in a few minutes, we'll start the guided meditation. So I will help you get into a calm, relaxed, meditative state. And then we'll all really focus on reverence, healing, and loving kindness for the Amazon rainforest. So uh, the meditation itself will go for around 20 minutes, give or take. After the meditation, if you want to stay on, we'll have some time to talk about your experiences or answer questions you have. But I understand some of you need to get going earlier. Um, so as I said, I'm going to keep microphones muted until after the meditation at this point. Um, but you can always say hello and let us know where you're calling from in the comments. I will be editing this recording and posting it on the Nova Sutras YouTube channel later on today. So um, if you want to either private message me, um, you can figure out how to do that through the chat, or you can email me immediately afterward if you want me to edit you out of the video. Nova Sutras is an emerging eco-spiritual movement. Our purpose is to nurture and uplift one another during these very challenging times we're facing while we're working together to create a world that works for all people and all species of life on earth. Nova Sutras honors both spirituality and science in this quest to understand our existence, to open our minds, expand our hearts, and guide us into action. We uphold the principles that all of nature is sacred and should be treated with reverence and loving kindness. That change is essential, inevitable, and important in all life. That complexity and maturity emerge from cooperative relationships. And that the beauty of the living world is to be savored, honored, celebrated, and protected. In Nova Sutras, we condense these complex ideas into two fundamental concepts, which we call Agaya and Ubuntu. Agaya is a new term, and it's intended to express our joyous recognition of the deep, sacred beauty of the universe. It's our attempt to articulate that amazement that we experience when we recognize and come into contact with how wondrous nature can be. Whether it's the beauty of an opening flower, the gentle caress of a breeze on your face, or the splendor of a colorful sunrise. Ubuntu, is a term that's borrowed from South African languages. It represents community and interdependence. In Nova Sutras, we expand this meaning to embrace the connections between all things, binding us all together in the more than human world with reverence, joy, generosity, gratitude, and loving kindness. You might summarize Ubuntu as people are only people through other people or 
I am because we are. Yet we humans cannot exist without each other. Life is far too complex for any one of us to figure it out entirely on our own. We need other people to thrive and to help us learn and improve. So in Nova Sutras, we expand this original meaning of Ubuntu to embrace connections between all things. Humans also could not exist without all the life around us, the forests and oceans, the grasslands and rivers, all these places and beings that produce the air that we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. And of course, we need their inspiration, that joy of a Gaia that connects us to the beauty and wonder, the incomprehensible complexity of the living world and helps us find our place in the universe so that we can really thrive. One of the ways that we weave together our scientific and more spiritual understandings of the world is to focus our intention on connecting to place and using that as a way to really express our innate capacity for loving kindness. So to open sacred space together, we use a practice that's familiar to many indigenous traditions and it's calling the corners. It helps us situate ourselves connect to the beings that live around us, human and otherwise, and then connect with beings everywhere all around the world. We incorporate in Calling the Corners a practice that's similar to Buddhist metta meditation, where we're sending wishes for all beings to abide in a Gaya and a Buntu, to live lives filled with community, connection, reciprocal blessings, and loving kindness. So you can call the corners while standing and moving, or just sitting and thinking, whichever is more comfortable for you right now. I'm gonna start where the sun is now for me in the nearest cardinal direction. Um, and since it's midday here in California, that would be to the south. I'll go around the compass directions following the path of the sun, then up and down, then we'll start with ourselves as the center and radiate out. Please follow along out loud if you like, um, or you can just think and feel through it, considering your own location and sending your wishes for a Gaia and the Buntu out into that direction or that space. May all beings to the south abide in a Gaia and a Buntu. May all beings to the West abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the North abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the East abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings above abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings below abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May I abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings nearby, all those I can reach with my senses, Abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in this watershed abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings in the surrounding habitats throughout my bioregion abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings on this continent, abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. 
May all the beings of this hemisphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. And may all beings belonging to Earth's beautiful, bountiful, beneficent biosphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. Now you're invited to settle in. Close your eyes if you want to do that. And just take a moment to feel your connection to the earth below you. Feel it grounding and stabilizing you. Feel your connection to the air above you, filling you with light. Think about how a tree stands tall, connecting the sky and the soil even more strongly. Offer your gratitude for the trees showing us how to weave heaven and earth together. I invite you to take a deep breath in Hold it for just a moment and then exhale slowly and completely. Take another slow, deep breath in. And as you hold it, savor this feeling of breath nourishing your relaxed body. Then exhale again, gently and slowly, inviting any tension remaining in your body to leave with your breath. Continue taking deep, relaxing breaths as we welcome in a greater appreciation of Ubuntu and Agaya. Ubuntu expands our awareness of connection or interbeing. Think about all the beings you're familiar with, the plants, the people, the other animals where you live, and thank them for the ways that they enrich your life. Remember that all of your food was once alive and that that shared life is nourishing you. This is interbeing at its deepest level. And this is what we in Nova Sutras call Ubuntu. Everywhere in the world, these interconnections ex and exist. As you breathe in, allow yourself to feel these connections of Ubuntu. And as you breathe out, send your gratitude for them along those radiating lines of interconnection and interdependence. Notice each inhale and exhale. Thank the trees and plants all the living green things of this earth for providing us with the oxygen we need to breathe in and for taking the carbon we exhale to build their own bodies. This gratitude to other beings with whom we share connection is just one facet of what we call a Gaia. Gaia reflects our profound connection to the sacred beauty of our universe. As you slowly inhale, invite this sacred joy of Agaya into the center of your being. Then, as you release your breath, 
Send with it your feelings of humble gratitude to spread out into the world. Now I want to focus our attention on the Amazon rainforest. We will envision ourselves in that thriving heart of the Amazon with an intention to share Ubuntu and Agaya with all beings there. As we begin to visualize being in that place together, Try to imagine us gathered beneath the trees in the heart of this vibrant rainforest. Deep and healthy rainforest, the air is filled with soft green light. It's rich and moist, filled with the hum of insects, the calls of birds, monkeys, frogs. There's an incredible variety of scents from all the different flowers and leaves and fungi. The trees of the Amazon spread their leaves wide to catch the sun. There are so many different kinds of trees, each festooned with ferns and vines. Feel how these mighty trees are allies with us in calming this climate crisis, taking the carbon we've released, trying to save us from our fossil fueled folly. As the trees breathe, they cycle water from the soil to the sky, producing the very rains that the forests need. So much so that the health of the Amazon shapes the weather for the whole world. The warm, humid air these trees above us provide carries the rich scents of so many fruits and flowers mushrooms, fallen leaves. It carries sounds, the gentle trickle of a nearby stream, that chorus of insects and frogs, birds and monkeys. And perhaps we can just hear the soft rhythm of chanting dancers in a distant village. Feel our fellowship with these indigenous protectors of the land, raising their voices and stamping their feet in celebration of its abundant beauty. The riotous profusion of life here makes this forest seem to shimmer with energy. Feel the amazing vitality of these healthy equatorial rainforests and envision that energy filling you and spreading out from you to heal all the forests around you and all the rainforests around the Earth's equator. May the great trees of the Amazon rainforest abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May their twining vines, the ferns, the flowers, and all the other plants that live in their shade abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May the rains keep these forests vibrant. May the waters of the Amazon River and all its tributaries abide in Agaya 
and the bones here. May the colorful birds, the agile monkeys, the stealthy jaguars, the fluttering bats, the graceful snakes, and all the wondrous animals of the rainforest abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May the indigenous peoples of the Amazon forest abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. as we come together with all the love we have for this place, with the light of the sun shining down on the trees overhead. Imagine that radiant energy from the equatorial sun filling our own hearts. Together, we shine loving kindness and wonder, Ubuntu and Agaya, from the heart of this beautiful rainforest. Together, we shine Ubuntu and Agaya over the rivers and across the deep and sparkling immensity of the oceans. Together, we shine Ubuntu and Agaya to every place on earth now touched by the light of the sun. Together, we shine Agaya and Ubuntu out to touch all those in the dark of night right now, all around the world. Together, we shine the light of Ubuntu and Agaya across the universe from our beautiful little home world. Together, we inhale Agaya and exhale Ubuntu. Together, we inhale Agaya Exhale, Ubuntu. Now I invite you to extend these experiences of Agaya and Ubuntu and offer them as a gift to the whole world. When you're ready, you may gently open your eyes and allow yourself to return to the here and now. You should come into a state of calm attention, energized by your contemplation of Ubuntu and Agaya in the Amazon. Take a moment to thank yourself for sharing in this worldwide meditation to heal the rainforests. We in the Nova Sutras community thank you for taking this step toward wellness and awareness and a vision of the world abiding in Agaya and Ubuntu. Do you have any questions for the Nova Sutras community? Any thoughts or wishes or reflections you wanna share? Or if you just wanna learn more and you can stay on the call and join in the conversation now. I'm going to unmute everyone. And welcome back. 
Hey there. That was really lovely. Yeah, it was. I really enjoy looking at all the images of animals from the rainforest like that. Any other thoughts? How did that feel for you? What, uh, what came up? me um because i've been there um just went right back and i was with the actual um people the um warani and um yeah and so yeah it's just always just beautiful to really um feel their presence and um and then sort of at the end i just didn't want to come out <laughs> but um yeah just also sending um that love that um the people who are doing the harm, um, that they wake up, that they receive love into their hearts. Um, so there's um, Trump, Zara, oh, yeah, anyway. Um, and, uh, and you hear all of these around the world and Morrison here in Australia, that all of these people are, are touched um, with a Gaia and, mm. and Ubuntu and yeah, just no love in their hearts yeah. rather than destruction. Yeah. I enjoyed the cardinal point, the binding meta with it pointing my direction, my attention in a certain direction. And then to bring, you know, to move out with the meta and then to bring that all in and focus in on the Amazon, I just thought that was very beautiful. And it seemed like it, um, it grew, at least in me, in my sense of feeling and focus. It like, uh, it was very lovely. Well thought out. Thank you. Yeah. But calling the corners has been a really important practice for me in kind of not only really grounding, but then drawing energy from that, being able to, to really feel connection to the rest of the world that way. I just spent a little time this morning thinking about the standing on the shoulders of giants kind of thing. Like how many, how many people touched this food? How many people created these devices? You know what I mean? Like, like I have this sensation when I go and I get something, you know, that I paid money that I worked for to get, you know what I mean? There's this, this small little tight bubble that doesn't let me see um, the, Ubuntu, the, all of the many, many people um, involved and touched. And so uh, it was good to spend some time again with that and, um, and feeling community with them. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Does anybody have? something else that they want to share their thoughts about? I, I was able to use this meditation to practice being at ease. Mm. And it, it was great to have an invitation and an opportunity to practice that um, in an intentional way for a specific specific purpose with a group of people because I noticed that I do sometimes hold a lot of tension and and I think I may even subconsciously work to kind of keep the tension up 
Mm-hmm. And so I'm now looking at and working to, you know, invite myself to bring my guard and tension down. And it was wonderful to do that in, you know, in service of the idea and the desire and the meditation to think of the Amazon in the context. Uh There she is. Now she's back. I I I lost the connection there. Sorry, guys. (laughs) It's all right. I just... I just said what I said and then thanked you for holding this space. Oh. Well, thanks. <sighs> Does anyone have any any questions or concerns that they're trying to work through on this? I'm grateful for your presence and your care for this issue. I don't have, I've tried sharing this with general folk in my um, community, and um, I'm basically told it's uh, too depressing a topic. Mm-hmm. And could I please lighten up and not be so gloom and doom? And mm-hmm. to be around people who understand that's not the purpose of talking about it. The purpose of talking about it is to face the facts and, and also to appreciate the Agaya and Ubuntu that's there. and. Um, and to search for solutions and to be part of that. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, thank you for saying that, Jennifer. That's actually like, that's a really stimulating thought for me because facing the facts around social and environmental responsibility is, yeah, that's, it actually, that's not everyone. It, it, there is a certain sort of uniqueness in a person and a rarity to doing that. And it's important to me to be, you know, allied with and sort of have fellowship with people who, yeah, who are facing the facts and, and, and are actively, want to actively work towards and are actively committed towards doing whatever they can, you know, to, to solve the issues that we're facing. So, thanks, Jennifer. I know. It's good to be heard. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, so you know, thanks, Michelle, for bringing me back to this. Um, I am surround myself online uh, with a lot of people who are very aware, very like-minded in groups like Pachamama Alliance, Tree Sisters. Um, yeah, just I'm linked, like you get all the things from all the Amazon Frontline and Amazon Watch. And um, I've, uh, the last couple of years, or well, since I went to the Amazon, um, have been really advocating for this and have, you know, I've got my little Facebook groups up, but, the busyness of the world and the, you know, the, the need to sort of like, um, yeah. And, and just so aware that of the limited time that we've got and then the urgency comes into your own life and sort of think, Oh my God, but I've got this huge mortgage and, uh, and I need to go off and go to work, you know, find some work somewhere and you know, everything I do is voluntary and you know, all my time is spent, you know, with caring for things. Um, yeah. And so you sort of like, I'm fine. But I, just like get drawn off from that so it's really beautiful to come and um uh, send some energy in a really concentrated way rather than just including a couple of minutes in a daily meditation so yeah thank you for that and i suppose my thought is as well as um is bringing all of the groups that are doing this sort of thing together so i mean even like heart math that do a lot of heart coherence and they have um um quite regular sort of things where everybody comes in and I think this meditating around, you know, like with the global connections is, is really powerful and how we can increase that as a, you know, as a collaborative. So 
there may be only you know, X number of people joining this and there'll be a lot more, you know, probably listening to videos, but it's, it's, um, I think also being aware that there's a collective of, there are a lot of other um, groups and people focusing on this and that we link energetically with those groups as well, that the combined effect of all of these groups meditating and visioning the world a more beautiful place that we create this loving kindness all around the world um, that that may just grow and ripple and like an octopus's um, arms just reach out and connect us all around the planet so thank you mm. I really love that vision especially big fan of octopus so <laughs> That's really beautiful. All right, well, um, I need folks here. Um, oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> I but, just have background noise, so I was muting myself intentionally. Okay. Um, so I guess oh one one thing that I should mention, um, you may have seen that this was uh, kind of following on from Nova Sutra's taking on this project called Amazon for Amazon. And um, the the inspiration behind that was simply well if amazon.com is going to use that name and they've got billions of dollars why don't they put some of their money into the amazon um so encouraging uh, a boycott of amazon until they um really do something serious to help with the, the now very urgent situation uh, in the Amazon basin, particularly in Brazil with Bolsonaro. Um, and that means not only protecting and preserving the forests, but a lot of the, a lot of what's going on there is um, really directly about um, <laughs> trying to essentially get rid of, exterminate the people of the Amazon forest, um, those indigenous protectors. So it's really important that we think through um, ways that we can preserve not only the lands, but the cultures of the Amazon. maybe more regenerative farming for um, the people because a lot of the reason it's being burned supposedly is for farmland. Yeah. So maybe the practices they need to have more effective uh, farming. Yeah. Well, it, it turns out that, you know, the, the farming that's being done is not traditional farming either of indigenous people or of traditional local smallholders. Yes, they will clear some forests and, and burn it to do um, slash and burn or really Sweden agriculture. Uh, but most of what we're seeing is clearing for um, producing cash crops for export. So it's not about people dealing with their needs for food. It's about uh, corporations wanting to buy cheap, mostly animal feed in the form of soy protein um, and ship it overseas. Yeah, there's, um, some, yeah, there's some amazing, um, really large documents that, um, yeah, that, that I've read um, in all of that. And so Europe is one of the um, biggest importers as well for, um, for the beef. Mm -hmm. um, and 
yeah, and so that's another huge as well as the the soy and um, and I think also for um, whether it's been used for biofuel as well. But yeah, definitely for um, the um, for food um, feeding um, the beef and things like that. Yeah. So um, and because um, and a lot of it's actually tied up with the um, with the USA uh, with administrations trade trade links and things like that. So because they put embargoes on, I think it was China, um, or not embargoes, but I'm, you know, I'd have to read it all again. But so it's a lot of it's in that political field of, okay, we're going to not give you the discounts. And so China then goes to Brazil and, um, and says, okay, well, we'll do the trade with you. So then um, Brazil says, well, okay, we've got to be able to um, supply this demand um, from China um, and Europe. And um, so we will just go in there and clear all these forests so that we can have more um, gross, um, you know, profit um, and meet these requirements. So it's very, very involved. There are a lot of organisations on the ground there um, helping, you know, or um, assisting people to fight um, so that they can retain their lands for their traditional work. And yeah, I think any way that people can as well as doing the meditations, um, find a group that resonates with them and donate and support in that way if you have yeah. the funds as well. Um, I know that Tree Sisters um, are now just funding uh, another place up in a certain place in Brazil um, for actually growing um, a native fruit trees so that they can actually um, eat better food yeah. because as the whole thing comes in, you know, then that then you rely on shop food and you know and it all yeah and your whole systems just culture breaks down so it's a lot of really great um organizations doing things like that um as well. oh, but yeah and but i have one question so with the amazon boycott has anyone actually written to amazon and asked them what is their plans because you know do they know because i that's you know or you're trying to get people and then you'll let them know i just i I, I think the um the intention is more to yeah to sort of get a, a big group of people so that we can show that this is not just a couple of loonies and then um, um, and then yeah try to try to find ways to um, to apply that pressure and, and get some attention on it. Yeah, um, I just sort of thought it'd be good to actually ask you know what what's their position statement on it first and then you've yeah. got something if that if nothing comes back then you've also that can add to the thing we have tried yeah. contacting them you know we've this is the letter that we've sent this is the reply or we haven't received a reply and um yeah because I, I know i've shared it with um someone like even personally who was promoting you know and obviously she makes a, that's how she makes her affiliate money in her business mm. um through them and, and you know her comments are well you know i can't get out to the shops and that's the way i do my shopping and yeah and this stuff so but she's not really, yeah, she's aware in some areas, but not in this area. So. Right. Yeah. right. Well, that's, yeah. that's a good point. I'll, I'll talk with the, uh, the co-organizers on that and we'll, we'll think about mm. that. And the other yeah. thing I, I did want to mention, um, I haven't added Tree Sisters yet, but I will do that. But there is one of the pages off of Amazon for Amazon.org does list uh, mm -hmm. several organizations, including uh, Pachamama and Cultural Survival and... Um, yeah. Or, sorry, Survival International. Yes, well, yeah, they could. Yeah, be, yeah. Um, and uh, and several other groups that that are, um, you know, actively doing things. So those are other ways mm -hmm. to support it as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, um, we should probably start moving towards closing out, unless anyone has any other questions, comments. Great ideas. No, just thank you. Thank you. What a beautiful way to start Saturday morning. But, uh... Well, I'm so glad that all of you could join us. Um, and if you'd like, what I'm going to do is just invite us to take another minute and kind of turn in, tune in to that feeling into that connection with the forest. 
tune into our feelings of love and gratitude. Tune into the wishes for Ubuntu and Agaya for the Amazon. And just let that settle. And then try to carry a piece of that with you as you go out into your day. Thank you all so much for being here, for spending this time together. I'm really, really honored and delighted to have been able to share this with you. As I said, I'll, I'll be putting this together so that it, uh, it will be available on YouTube for people who couldn't make this timing. Um, so we'll get that, get that out and get that announced, uh, hopefully within the next hour or two. Um, so if you, if you think of other people that you wish could have, could have participated in this call, um, maybe even think about getting together with them and, and doing it so that you get that, again, that group energy of all concentrating at once. Um, and if you have any suggestions or anything, please email me, novasutras at gmail.com. Thank you, Michelle, and uh, happy December Eve Eve to everybody. Or in <laughs> Australia, I guess it's December Eve. <laughs> um, yeah. Is that what is it the first of December? No, it's the, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Know. Is it? Oh, I don't know. For you. Oh, okay. yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, thirtieth of November. Yeah. I have to look at my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Thank yep. you all. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you all so much. Bye bye. With bye. You. Thanks, Thanks, Michelle. You. Bye. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.